Jim Seals, the singer-songwriter-guitarist who scored top 10 pop hits with Diamond Girl, Summer Breeze and Get Closer as one half of the soft rock duo Seals and Crofts, died Monday. He was 80. His cousin, Brady Seals of the country band Little Texas, confirmed the news on social media but offered no details. Jim Seals already was a music veteran when he teamed with longtime off and on bandmate Dash Crofts to form Seals and Crofts in 1969. The Texas natives had met in local bands during the 1950s, and both moved to Los Angeles to join the Champs in 1959. That group was hot off the revered number one instrumental smash tequila, and guitarist Glenn Campbell also joined the band after that hit. By the mid-60s, Seals, Crofts, Campbell and another bandmate left the Champs to form the short-lived Glenn Campbell and the GCs. After that group split, Seals and Crofts returned to the Lone Star State and launched a new band. But by 1969, both were back in L. and inked a deal with Warner Brothers Records as Seals and Crofts. Their 1969 debut album failed to chart, but the second and third, 1970's Down Home and 1971's Year of Sunday, cracked the Billboard 200 and made the top 100 in Canada. But success was just around the corner. Summer Breeze was released in September 1972, and its hooky title cut stormed into the top 10, peaking at number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100. Follow-up single Hummingbird dented the top 20, helping to push the LP to number 7, it went gold by Christmas and has sold more than 2 million units in the US Seals wrote all of the album's lyrics. Seals and Crofts continued their hot streak the following year with Diamond Girl. Its title cut also peaked at number 6, and the LP hit number 4 and became their second consecutive gold disc. Following the Summer Breeze discs pattern, second single We May Never Pass This Way Again peaked at number 21. Seals and Crofts performed on the Midnight Special and Rock Concert in 1973. The duo continued to tour and record through the mid-70s, but Seals and Crofts' pop single winning streak had ended by the time their greatest hits LP streaked in time for the 1975 Christmas season.